to Grads. I'm Deanna. I'm Ty. I'm Er. And I'm Julian. And with us on today's segment of What Are They Doing Now? We have Sam Darliston. Sam is a successful first class honours graduate in media performance from the University of Bedfordshire and we've invited him here today to find out his top tips on how to survive university. So Sam, I'd like to begin with the fact that you're Kiss FM's chosen one. Yeah. Can we have a round of applause? <laughs> <laughs> but first, I'm going to hand over to Ty so she can explain to you guys in the studio and at home as to what The Chosen One actually is. The Chosen One is an annual competition that started in 2011. This competition gives people, young people, the chance to become the KISS FM um, radio presenter, just like Sam. Mm -hmm. So Sam, tell us, how was your journey towards becoming The Chosen One? Oh, it's, wow, it was kind of like really fast because it was about a year ago now and my housemate at the time was submitting like a video you could do online videos or there was these big auditions at Westfield Stratford but I didn't go to them I was just like I'll do a quick video so like I had my hamster and I did like a little interview with it I just didn't think anything of it because like thousands yeah. of people enter and I was like yes. nothing will come of it but I'll just send it off anyway like I remember filling it in being like oh, is it, I think our internet went down in the house. I was like, is there even any point? Like, <laughs> no point. Then I just sent it off. And then I remember I was walking to my other job and I just got a call off Kiss. Mm -hmm. and, but at the same time, I'd applied to go on Deal or No Deal. <laughs> and I was kind of <laughs> hoping it was that. Yeah. But then I'm happy it was Kiss now. But yeah, they rang me and they were like, can you come to the top 20? And then there's the Presenter Academy sort of things. There's like loads of, there's like 20 of us there. And then you get split up into groups and you go and do different activities. Like you do bits for camera, bits for radio. All that sort of stuff. You did an interview with last year's winner, and then um, yeah, then it was the top five. God, I'm dragging it out. Then it was <laughs> the, then it was the top five, and then you got given a smartphone. But I smashed my own accidentally. Um, oh. They don't. They, they probably will know now. They didn't know at the time. Uh, and then you have to film another three-minute video of yourself and why you'd be the Kiss Chosen One sort of thing. Why you'd mm -hmm. be a good one and submit it and then well, I won. you must be really proud of yourself though like yeah, yeah. thousands of people and yeah, you won it is crazy I yeah think it's it such an accomplishment oh, yes. thank you <laughs> yeah we saw your video, your little interview with your hamster <laughs> oh, like, yeah. really and your nan and yeah my nan yeah my nan was in it she loved it bless his soul we heard he's no longer oh yeah, yeah. no yeah. nourish the hamster may he rest yeah. in peace he's gone <laughs> devastated <laughs> would you say you are particularly famous since the chosen one no <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so, not. so you wouldn't say um, your social media, your fans on social oh, media it's has increased in that definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get like tweets quite a lot and stuff from people, but um, like I don't walk down the street and get mobbed. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> not, it's not like that. Like that's the beauty of radio, I guess, yeah, is that no yeah. one can actually see me. It's just they can hear just me. hear you. Yeah. I mean, you're here now, so maybe. You might be moving towards the celebrity status. You never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Sam, remembering back from uh, from the university time, yeah. you said my three years at Bedfordshire provided me the best education. Mm -hmm. I've loved it. I arrived wanting to be an actor and I still hope to pursue this one day. Yeah. We want to know, why did you choose uh, media performance for acting when you had a lot of other options such mm -hmm. as a theatre course or a drama school? Well, I went and did auditions for drama schools and to be honest, the people, like the other people that would have been in my class, were just awful people. <laughs> and I was like, nah, I ain't got, I'm not going to bother with that. So I was just, I got, I got into one and got a callback for another one. I just said to my mum and dad, I was like, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to go to a drama school. Mm. And then there's a thing called UCAS Extra, which I didn't even know about, yeah. where you can get a sixth choice, because I'd just put all drama schools. And then I saw media performance as a course, and I was like, that looks class. I was like, let's get on that. And then I did it, came and auditioned here. Sounds different. Yeah. yeah, and the people, yeah, yeah, just, I knew when I came here, I knew I wanted to come. I mean, how would you feel if the people were watching it right now? The what, people you didn't want to be with? <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so, talking about your parents, we yeah. heard a rumour that Eamon and Ruth are your parents. Is no, this they're, not. True? they're not. My mum and dad look exactly like Eamon and Ruth. Well, we got fooled. <laughs> we all got <laughs> okay. If you see that video, it looks like he made us believe Eamon and Ruth are his parents. You need to see it. I guys. actually yeah. really believed it. <laughs> we all sat there and we were like, Oh, maybe I, this is how I'm not gonna lie. lie. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I was like, okay, that's why it's the chosen yeah, one. Was, <laughs> you're so lucky. <laughs> no, it was so cool actually, because just before Christmas, I put the photo up of my mum and dad looking like Eminem Roof like years ago now on Instagram, and then at Christmas, like day before Christmas, <laughs> Eamon Holmes like commented on it, 
and was like, oh my God, which one's us, which one's your mum and dad? <laughs> yeah. I saw and I was that. like, this we is a Christmas that, yes. miracle. Yes. Eamon Holmes has just commented <laughs> on my Instagram. I was like running around the house. Yeah, I saw your Instagram, you posted. Yeah. Did you I was put it on Instagram? Absolutely. Now we can believe in Christmas miracles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, miracles happen. Absolutely. <laughs> so it was very fun to see you at EastEnders as Ben Mitchell's body. Yeah, <laughs> bit of, yeah, Ben That Mitchell. was really fun, actually. So should we be looking forward to any more acting roles? For ben? Uh, I'd like, yeah, I'd definitely like to do more acting, definitely. Especially for like TV or film, whatever. Mm -hmm. Not overly keen on stage, because mm -hmm. I went to, before I came to here, I went to Stratford-upon-Avon, which was a massive trek from my house anyway, but it's the only sort of drama college that's good in like the Midlands. Yeah, you got yeah. a distinction, didn't you? Yeah, so I went to there, but it was like, they were just chucking Shakespeare at us every five <laughs> minutes. And I was like, no, I'm you, just never, was not in the too. mood for Shakespeare. I can see you as a Shakespeare kind of guy, though. I can't. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, I'm not a stage person. Yeah, I'm like. Yeah, so I just, I'd love to do bits more on TV. Like I did some stuff for CBBS. I did Top C and Tim. I had a speaking role in that. And that was cool. So I'd definitely so like to do it again. They, yeah. they, the agent that I'm with for that seemed to like me. So hopefully. So I'll do you reckon we'll be stop. seeing you as Phil Mitchell's body double this time? I hope maybe not. <laughs> Phil Mitchell. <laughs> ben Mitchell is offensive <laughs> enough. I'm not <laughs> Phil. Come on now. <laughs> So maybe some Hollywood role then? Yeah, maybe Hollywood Amen. is next to me. Yeah, I next to the, the one of the greats, like, was your favourite? I don't know, I could be like a body double for Brad Pitt or something like that. Mm. We were actually talking about oh, that, yeah, that was quite funny. funny. That's really we were actually Wait. talking about that. <laughs> I was only joking. We're trying to hook you up with, we're trying to hook you up with Angelina Jolie, you know? Yeah, exactly, well, that'd be yeah, alright. Yeah. You never know. <laughs> You never know. <laughs> For every celebrity guest we have on our show, guys, we do a quick Would You Rather segment. Oh, Are you ready, yes. Sam? Yes, I love Would You Rather. <laughs> so we ask you three top questions, and you yeah. have to say the first thing that comes to your head. I'm on it. Am I building intention because these questions are not that deep? <laughs> 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 okay, so Sam, would you rather sing or dance? Uh, sing, definitely. Sing? Yeah, in the shower. Smash okay, it. Good. <laughs> okay, drive or ride a bike? Uh, drive. Yeah, I know. It's less effort. Nobody's ready for that <laughs> sport, yeah. are they? Cook or clean? Cook. Cook. Are you sure? Really? Oh, we saw your video. I'm not amazing at cooking, but I'm worse at cleaning. <laughs> I so know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna yeah, go we clean. saw that. We saw your video. We're trying. You know? Yeah, and cooking, like you know, you can surprise yourself. Yeah. You might, it might look rank, but it might taste yeah. nice. Oh, I've you done did, that plenty of times. Yeah. So. yeah, they did. They did say like the burnt food are actually the best. Can you come on about burnt food? Burnt food. <laughs> I love burnt bacon. Crispy <laughs> bacon oh, yes. on a Saturday morning. Sam, um, going back to performing, do you think yeah. United Kingdom is one of the best <laughs> places to succeed as a performer? Um, I wouldn't say United Kingdom as a whole, because like, say if I go back home, there's nothing around there really. Like, mm -hmm. I'd have to come to London. Yeah. Everything's in London, which is a bit of a shame for people that aren't from London and people from London don't realise how lucky they are that they have all that on their doorstep sort of thing like media and everything it's just it's all down london way that's the be that's what's good about this uni as well because you're in like 20 minutes on a fast train away yeah, indeed, indeed. Yeah. so um i wouldn't say united kingdom as a whole but yeah i guess like compared to like other countries in europe or whatever like that it's it's england's probably definitely one of the better ones mm. So you worked at a plaw store during yeah. your university days and you work there now i mean yeah. i saw you the other yeah, day you did, yeah <laughs> um so how did you balance your university life social life and applause store work just, I don't know actually. Tell us a secret. <laughs> you just sort of do it. It's a really flexible job. It's really handy. And obviously it's in TV studios and all that sort of stuff. So yeah. it's amazing because you yeah. get to see yeah. so much and you get to meet loads of contacts and that sort of stuff. Um, but it's a really, yeah, it's a really flexible job. So that came in handy with my studies. So obviously studies came first. So I just say no if I couldn't do something rather than like getting a bar job or something where you have to say yeah. Otherwise yeah. you're getting like sacked. That was good so time you management. Have yeah, mm. you have to just like, Plan yourself out. Yeah, you just have to be good at timekeeping and make sure you've got enough space for everything. Okay. That sounds yeah. good. Yeah. But social life's very important yeah. as well. Don't forget oh, about definitely. your social life. If you want someone to manage your life, well, there's a person that I know. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's very That's good true. at timing. She, she, will, she, will, she will plan yeah, your plan life for you. Yeah. 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 Life. From the start to the it's end. It's not a bad <laughs> skill to have. It's not a bad <laughs> skill to have. <laughs> Thank you. Would you say becoming a radio presenter has improved your dating life? My dating life? Yep, sure. Um, <laughs> not particularly. So, are you a single Pringle then? Yeah, I am single, yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, Sam is very single. Like <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> like a Pringle. I think I need to work on my rhymes then. We're going to have to start rounding up now because yeah. we're running out of time. So, to round up my very beautiful Sam, what top three <laughs> tips could you give us here and our audience who go for an audition to improve our confidence? Confidence, sorry. Um, just, you've just got to remember that there's no one else that's you. You're you, like yeah. at the end of the day, if you're not being you, you're just being 
nothing. Like, so you've just yeah. got to always be yourself. If it's presenting, definitely always be yourself. If it's acting, just learn yeah. your Unfortunately, lines. Unfortunately, Sam, that's all we've got yeah. time for. Thank you for no being problem. here with Thanks us today. Thank you very much, Thank Sam. you, audience, for being here with us today. Mm -hmm. It's been lovely having everyone here with us today. Please tweet in what celebrity guests you'd like to come on the show next week with the hashtag GradsTV. Join us same time, same place next week. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Sam.